Hey, what's up? Welcome to my channel, The Horror Punk Collection. Thanks for uh, visiting. If you've been here uh, before, awesome. Thanks for coming back. If this is your first time here, appreciate you being here. Feel free to hit that like, subscribe button, whatever, so you know when I post if you enjoy this goofy looking mug doing this. I'm not good at it. Well, let's be honest, but I don't care. Thanks for being here anyway. Okay, so today I just thought I would share uh, a mini haul that I picked up from the website called Hamilton Books. Have you heard of it? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I came across it. And uh, you, they don't just sell books. They sell movies, DVDs, Blu-rays, you know, uh, all sorts of stuff. I'm sure uh, stuff that I don't even know about. But I go there for movies once in a while because they're pretty cheap. You can get some yeah, decent stuff for a, a pretty good price. Anyway, so I just a real quick mini haul I just thought I would share today from HamiltonBooks.com. I think it's just HamiltonBooks.com. Just a couple DVDs I picked up. It's cheap, so I said, why not? First one I got is a movie called They Reach. They Reach. Now, we did this on Stupid Movies uh, last year or the year before. Pretty, pretty cool movie, if I remember right. We had a lot of fun with it. Uh, let's see, it says... 13-year-old Jessica Daniels accidentally unleashes a demon from a reel-to-reel -reel player, which also happens to be a doorway to the dark side. She masters her science fair winning brain power and recruits, recruits her two best friends to battle the beast and send it back to hell before more souls are taken in the small town of Clarkston. Um, this is from 2020 and directed by Silas Dahl, and this stars Mary Madeline Rowe, Eden Campbell, and Morgan Chandler. Uh, it's it's a fun movie. It's pretty, you know, kind of supernatural-ish, but it was fun. It kind of has that summer of 84 feel, kind of the goony, kind of, you know, the kids going against evil. And uh, it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it actually quite a bit. So that I picked up. I would definitely uh, recommend checking this out. Again, that's They Reach. They Reach. Like, reach. <sighs> anyway. Next up, I picked this up, and I, it was cheap, so I, I thought, why not? Um, I saw it on Tubi. I didn't watch it, so I could have watched it for free and saved money, but I like the, the uh, artwork and stuff, and I love anthologies, so I picked it up. I might regret it, especially since it's free on Tubi, but oh well. And I picked up Fright Vision. Okay? Fright Vision. It says, turn off the lights for terror. And this one is from 2021, and it's a wild eye releasing which, you know, uh, if, if you watch stuff from them, they're very hit or miss. Some decent stuff, some not so good stuff. But, I don't know. It's it's, it's cool. It's from the director. Um, well, it's directed by several people here. It's, a, it's an anthology, so that would make sense. It says, from cult producer and director Brad Twig, who did Killer Camp Out and Milf, 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 Milfs vs. Zombies, which I've seen both of those. Not a fan of Milfs vs. Zombies, but I did like Killer Camp Out. We did that on Stupid Movies as well. Anyway, so this says, Prepare yourself for five twisted tales of terror hosted by everyone's favorite sinister succubus, Dr. Boobenstein. Featuring vicious vixens, flesh-eating mist, vengeful Aztec gods, talking corpses, sinister Santas, and more. So sit back. Turn out the lights and get ready for your worst nightmares to unfold. Uh, and this has a handful of people in it. Ashley Campbell, Rose Donahue. Hey, look. Huh. Mark Justice. And it's got Drew Marvick. I bet you anything Drew Marvick plays a killer Santa because it says Sinners of Santa. Love seeing Drew Marvick. So I'll check it out for sure. Fright Vision. Okay. I do like that artwork, though. That is, that is cool artwork. Very eye-appealing to me, anyway. And then the last one I got... Is this little collection of four movies, um, and they're all from like the mid two thousands again. I I love that decade. We all know this at this point. But I got this feeding the masses horror collection. A very okay. Well, yeah, no, four four fearsome uh, films, and this has Necroville, Splatter Disco, Feeding the Masses, and Creature from the Hillbilly Lagoon. Uh, I've never really heard of any of them aside from Feeding the Masses. I don't know much about it, so, but I thought, hey, why not? And these are all from, um, yeah, let's see, Feeding the Masses from 2005, Creature of the Hillbilly Lagoon, 2005, Necroville, 2007, Splatter Disco, 2007, and then it's also got Shockorama Trailer Vault. But hey, that's cool, yeah, Shockorama, they, they put out some good indie horror stuff. 
but it says, sink your teeth into the rotting flesh of paranoid times with this monstrous four film collection featuring ravenous flesh eating zombies, bloodthirsty vampires and rampaging werewolves. Werewolves? Hey, okay, I did not know that. I ain't gonna get my hopes up. We know werewolves are my favorite. Werewolves are my favorite. So we'll see. Anyway, you know, for, I think this was five bucks, you know, for all these. So why not, you know, picked it up, excited to dive into some of that. So that's what I got. You know, that was my little mini haul from Hamilton books. So have you seen any of these? Let me know in the comments below what you thought. Uh, if you liked them, if you didn't like them or whatever, or if you think I'm just dumb for probably wasting money, but it is what it is. I like to add to the collection. I try not to blind buy a whole lot, but you know, for, I think I got all this 15 bucks, you know, why not? You know, that's six movies, you know, really. No, so anyway, that's my mini haul. Thanks for checking it out. Appreciate being here. Like, subscribe, hit that button, all that mumbo jumbo. Um, support horror, let's go. All right, thanks for being here. We'll see you next time. Later, folks.